Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so, so very much for everyone coming together again to watch another video and to learn your word, to write this, these scriptures upon their hearts so that they can live each and every day more and more for you and for your kingdom and your army. Lord, I just ask that you be in the presence of myself, help with all the background noise. Hopefully this microphone thing will work properly and everyone will not be distracted by any background noise that there may be. And dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so, so very much again for your son Jesus Christ who died on the cross that day. I'm so thankful that each and every one of us can come before you on our knees with our heads bowed and just give our lives to you, to dedicate ourselves to you. And may you live in each and every one of us every day that we are here on this planet. I thank you for your son again, Lord Jesus. And I just ask that he would come down and carry those who need to be carried and walk with those who need to be walked. And may your angels just swarm around each and every believer. The new, the old, the renewed, the lost. Lord, bring them all home back to you. In your son Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. All right, guys, had to uh, make some adjustments here, but that's okay. When you're on a mission and you're on a mission for God, you just make it happen. Okay, this one here, again, we're still working on identity. We are focusing on how we can walk, stand firm, walk tall and proud, but humbly. Humbly being the key. Humbly. Get the ego out. Psh, psh. See you later, ego. Okay, this one is Isaiah 49, 16. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Whoa, hello. We are engraved on the palm of his hands. He's the one who has the nail holes. You know, blessed is he who has faith and believes who has not seen, yet doubting Thomas had to see? Wow, whoa, hello. I want to actually take this, and I actually want to read this whole section for you. Because if you're like me, sometimes just reading the one verse doesn't get it all for you all the time. We're going to start at verse 15. And I'll let you know where I stop at. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Your sons hasten back, and those who laid you waste depart from me. Pardon, for those who laid waste. Lord, help me. Your sons hasten back, verse 17, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your sons gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them as all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. Okay, that, those are verses 15 through 18. And down here on the bottom it says the people of Israel felt that God had forsaken them in Babylon. But Isaiah pointed out that God would never forget them. As a loving mother would not forget her little child. When we feel that God has forsaken us, we must ask if we have forsaken and forgotten God. And it makes a reference to Deuteronomy chapter 31. Verse 6. So, if you want to do a little more studying on your own, there's little notes for that. <laughs> I'm just so on fire, I can't even keep all this to myself. I just want it all to explode out, and I know I can't do that. If I ever do that, Lord, please just may your Holy Spirit intervene and just give it to him. How much more, how much more do we need? 
I mean, I know each of us are on different walks. Each of us are doing different things. Our focuses are on different things. We are, are not all experiencing the same battle at the same time. But how glorious and how wonderful. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. God is there for you. You have to open the door. I've made reference to it on a couple of videos now. The visual. Jesus standing at the door and knocking. There's no door handle. There's no doorknob on his side of the door. He can't open it. And please understand the reason that he cannot open that is because he wants you to freely come to him. We all have free will to do whatever it is we do. Choose wisely and just remember. Stand straight. Stand tall. Stand firm, for Jesus Christ walks with you, he talks with you, and he even carries you when you need it. Again, Lord, may my words be your words. May your Holy Spirit intervene. May you just grab a hold of some of these people and set them on fire like you have me for you and your kingdom. And forgive us for not walking in that. Forgive us for not knowing Forgive us for our ignorance, but through these videos, we will no longer be ignorant. We love you, Lord, with all our hearts, all our minds, and all our souls. And I just ask that you continue to be there for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the other side with another video and another verse.